with the fast pace of globalization, the integration of different cultures has been rapid. Most of you might think the word globalization can only be seen in the old documents and thick textbooks. In fact, there is never short of globalization in our daily life. In Chengdu, for instance, various kinds of foreign cultures has transformed and thrived. Particularly, the food. As an old Chinese saying goes, "Hunger breeds." It is believed that through the changes in people's eating habits, can we discover the difference? Among the restaurants we're going to explore today are the ones with worldwide fame, the ones with high popularity, and the ones appreciating both foreign and Chinese culture. Our first stand is a well-known Hong Kong restaurant named Lucy, located in Chengdu West Village, a place for leisure and fun. Lucy enjoys high prevalence among local community. Hong Kong restaurants are usually famous for their milk tea, unlike the multi-flavored trendy milk tea Yi Dian Dian. The milk tea in Lucy was, is, and always will be pure. The classical flavor lasts for decades, always attracting the regular customers and newcomers successfully. Besides its milk tea, the Hong Kong desserts. Are also of high reputation worldwide. Many customers always find it difficult to resist the temptation to have more. The desserts are of great diversity, and the pineapple bun is the most typical one. With the semi melting butter in halves, the baked golden bun smells terrific. The wonton noodles, another prevailing Hong Kong dish from two different provinces. The soft egg noodles and the delicious dumplings enrich others' taste. The beef curry is loved by many customers. Rich curry soup, poured with delicious juicy beef and soft mashed potato, constitutes a magic curing recipe. What about this one? Yep, it's the relished Sichuan dish, boiled sour and spicy fish with pickles. Some might wonder why a Hong Kong restaurant serves Sichuan dish. Well, it is actually a kind of strategy to design the menu according to the tastes of local people to attract more potential customers. This is not only a bright strategy, but also a kind of integration of different culture. Aiming to know more about this Hong Kong style Chengdu restaurant, one of our group members. Alexander is considering visiting its kitchen. Unfortunately, due to the heavy guest flow, the manager says that the chef cannot spare time to introduce us to the kitchen. But he promises a conversation with us after work. What does "chef" mean? Does it have any different flavors? It has. 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 对，我就觉得吃的好像就是没有那么甜。我以前在南方吃，我改良的话，他们是接受不了。对对对，我会改一下，改一下，他们反而好接受一点。Restaurants from different places will bring their unique local culture with them. Compared with the bustling atmosphere in Lucy, the serenity in Starbucks makes a great difference. One of the favorite drink of Western people, coffee. Serves as an ideal choice for both morning refreshing and afternoon relaxing, and because of this, Starbucks is able to become a global brand representing the unique cafe culture. Intriguingly, different from Lucy, that mostly hires middle-aged women, Starbucks prefer young adults. Thanks to the simplicity of making coffee, the staff has enough time for our interview. Holiday, a trendy bakery in China, illustrates what is meant by the integration of Chinese and foreign culture. The butter bread and the cheesecake, these foreign desserts have now been widely loved by the local people.
Gradually, these sweet desserts have become a local people's eating preference, successfully spreading their culture into every person's mind. The Mid Autumn Festival is on its way. Just as we expected, Holy Land introduces its latest dessert, the mooncake, just in time. Such traditional Chinese dessert, along with the other foreign desserts in the store, shows us the harmonious coexistence of different cultures. Most of you might think the word globalization can only be seen in the old documents and fake textbooks. In fact, there is never short of globalization in our daily life.